Hello and welcome back. My name is Ekene Eze and today I want to show you how to install Git on your local machines. Last week my colleague Sonia made a wonderful video showing you what Git is and how it relates to GitHub. Today I want to show you how you can install it on your local machines so that you can work with it locally. So there are a couple of different ways to install Git uh, depending on the machine that you're on. I'm currently on a Mac machine so I will show you how to install Git on a Mac machine first. Uh, one of the ways you can do that is I'm going to pull up my terminal here is to run this Xcode command, Xcode dash select dash dash install. This will install a lot of command line tools for you and Git will be part of them. It will install some Xcode tools, a lot of uh, different command line tools, including Git. Uh, if I run this command, it's not going to work because I already have those command line tools installed. Uh, but if you don't, you can run that command. It's going to install Git for you. And when it's done, you can simply run Git dash dash version to see the version of git that you have installed so that's one way uh, another way is to use homebrew uh, simply by doing brew install git and this is going to install git for you on your local machine i already have git so i'm not going to finish this command i'm just going to stop it uh, and clear that out because i do not want to store install git again uh, so these are the very two very easy ways to install git on a mac uh, however if you're on windows machine you can go to the git-scm.com website uh, if you go to the downloads tab you're going to get the screen where you basically can select to install git for the different os's so we've got mac os we've got linux and windows so if you're on a windows machine of course you want to click on windows uh, and then you're going to get a couple different options you don't want to install the portable thumb drive editions you want to install the standalone installers and this is going to depend again on uh, the configuration of your windows machine if you're only 64-bit windows you want to download this version of git for it if you're on the 32 you're going to download the 32 bit git for windows uh, so depending on the one you're, that you're on you're going to click the appropriate one but let's say for demonstration purposes that you're on a 32 bit uh, windows machine then you want to click on this button right here and then it's going to basically start downloading your files uh, so it's downloading multiple maybe i clicked it twice so i'm not uh, i'm not going to allow that but yeah if you look at this you see that it's currently downloading git for me and when it's done, uh, I already kind of downloaded it, so I, I can actually show you from here. So if I click show in Finder, then you see that you get this uh, git.exe file. So it's an executable file that you can run to uh, kick off the installer, which is going to install Git for you on your machine. Uh, so if I do click it, it's not going to work because I am currently on a MacBook, so I don't expect it to work. But if you are on Windows, so that should work and help you get Git installed. So these are the couple of different ways that you can install Git on your machine. And I hope this has been helpful. If you run into any issues, you can always Google stuff. You can always uh, use uh, ChatGPT, for instance, to ask questions. Or you can ask us in the, in the Shadium Discord, and we will be happy to help you. See you in the next one.